Hello, my fellow photographers, and today I am here to talk about ISO camera settings. So I'm going to tell you which setting, what is ISO, I'm going to tell you about the different camera settings you have to worry about in the camera, and I'm going to give you some examples of the different ISO. So I have my subject here, which is my shoe behind me, and we're going to use that for the entire video. Make sure you stay to the end so you can learn all about ISO. And I am Marquita of Keto Explorer Photography. And if you have not already, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. I will truly appreciate it. If you're already a subscriber, thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. Now let's get into today's video. So first of all, when you look at your camera settings for whatever you're shooting, a shoe, the environment, person, whatever the subject is, you need to know about various camera settings as well as paying attention to the external environment when you start a photo shoot. So today I'm talking about the ISO camera setting, but you also have to work with all the other camera settings with the ISO, which is aperture, shutter speed, and your white balance. And again, the external environment. But today we're gonna to focus on the ISO camera setting. So first off, I want to make sure my camera is set up to the a starting point. Now for me, since I've been doing photography, I know my camera, I am going to start wherever I left off in my normal photo shoots. But when you are starting off, you want to kind of get to a starting point and work your way from there until you learn all the different functions and settings of the camera. So I recommend going to a low and working your way up from there. So start at a 100 ISO, a one over 100 shutter speed, 2.8 or your lowest aperture, and then an auto white balance. So let me show you the settings. So as you can see, you have your one over 100 shutter speed. Um, oh, I have 1.8 uh, aperture, that's my lowest and then the ISO is 100. That's what we'll be focusing on today. And I will only be changing the ISO during this demonstration. So let me capture a photo of my shoe here. Now, as you can see from this photo, it is pretty dark. Now let's go up just to 200 ISO. You can see I'm at 200 ISO. The photo is still dark, but it is slightly brighter when I went up to 200. Now let's go up to 800 ISO. Wow, what a big difference. As you can see, it's not that dark anymore in the photo and you can actually see the shoe and see a contrast between the background and the actual shoe. Now I just went drastic. I went to an ISO of 6400. Let's see how this photo comes out. Wow, now it's just overexposed. It's blown out, it's way too bright. But I can always go back down. So now I'm gonna go down to 1000. Now when you see I went back to 1000, the photo still looks great. It's really lit nicely. It's not overexposed and it's not too dark. As you can see, ISO is your camera's sensitivity to light. So the lower your ISO, the less sensitive your camera is to light. And the higher your ISO, the higher the sensitivity, which means the brighter your photo. Now, one thing to know, the higher you go up in ISO in your camera, could mean the more chance of your photo being grainy. So you have to know the quality of your camera and the quality of your ISO. And you don't want that grainy effect. And you can fight the graininess with more studio lighting. Right now the lighting is kind of back there. So you can have more studio lighting or you can adjust other things in your camera, like your shutter speed or aperture to kind of help with the brightness or the ISO, because you don't want to have a grainy photo. That's just not cute. Unless you want a grainy, then okay. But 
I had so sensitive sensitivity to light, the lower, the darker, the higher, the brighter. All right, photographers. So in today's video, we talked about ISO, what is this meaning? The camera setting ISO to help you as you take your photos out and around of different subjects, shoes, people, cars, whatever it is, you need to know about your ISO in your camera. So we talked about what it is, we talked about the different settings, and I showed you demonstrations of ISO as I increased it and decreased it. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. It is free for you to do so and it helps me provide more and better content to you in the future. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. If you would like to support my photography business, you can go and buy prints from me at ketodexplorer.darkroom.com, which will also be linked down below in the description box. Also, make sure you share this video with your friends, family, and social media networks. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day or night, wherever in the world you are. Bye.